Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Railroad Tycoon 3. Well, let's finish playing. Let's keep playing. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> We're just still building the O&W and stuff. And last time we made our connection with Scranton down there. Which is going to give us a lot of coal, which is awesome. And then we've already... And there's an iron vein there too in Scranton, which I've never seen before. And there's iron down by Jersey too. So what we're going to do with this coal and iron. Well, actually, 1859, I don't know if I can yet. Um, I just thought of that. Did they exist yet? We all know that Liberty was well known for its giant steel mill of doom. Um, I guess it's going to be over here. There's no room here. Uh, I didn't want to put it over on this side because it might bring the track down with it. And I upgraded this from a small to a medium, and then I noticed this dairy farm just showed up, 1859, just outside the reach, so, um, I'm thinking of going up to a large. <laughs> and it sucks that it just popped up now. If that popped up before I upgraded, then I could have upgraded the station straight from small to large, but I'm paying an extra 100000 by doing it in steps. But there we go. And yeah, that's all I did was add the milk. Yeah. I probably really didn't need to do that, but whatever. It's Liberty. And, um, we're going to put a little bit of a section of double here. And, let's see. Now, I don't know if I have to run specific coal and iron trains, or if it's just, it might just kind of make its way around, because I've got these trains always hauling coal, see? And sometimes iron. And that's going to make it here. There's no coal there right now, though. And it's already plus six there, but it's plus more in other places. But I just built that coal, that steel mill, so it will go up. Now there's two coal there. And I, I know I have a train going back and forth between Hancock and Liberty. <coughs> oh, it goes to Mountaindale, too. I'm, I'm just wondering if I should have a train specifically Scranton to Han uh, Liberty now. I might not do that right away. It always takes a long time for your steel mill to start really working because it's complicated because it needs two different things to work. Let's see, this one's going... It's, what, it's up to plus 11 already. But the stuff it is taking is plus 24, 25. Well, I think we'll have to run specific train, at least Hancock to Liberty, maybe. And just have it sit and wait in Hancock for coal. Yeah, let's do that. Make it wait for three coal. Uh, not American class. <laughs> Uh, let's see. There. Cotton delivery. And we're going to set up custom consist. And we are going to do one, two, three, maybe in. I don't know if there's any iron there. But I've seen some trains. But we'll only wait for three. So that way, it'll probably always be three coal. But it might be two coal and an iron. Or it might be three coal and an iron. It might be four coal. But there's never going to be four coal and an iron. So it's never going to haul five cars. There. And then on the way back, between one and four, Eddie. With a caboose. And don't hit apply or else you'll lose your custom consist you just set up. It's got two coal cars, but it's got to wait. But these Scranton division trains seem to be running pretty regular. Yep, and there's two more coal cars, so they can just wait. 
and it's already got its two coal cars reserved, so even if another train wanted to take it out, it wouldn't happen. Let me see if there is iron there. Or if there was iron there for a year, and then when I connected it was like, heh heh. No, there is. There's iron right there. I really wish I could buy it. Let's see. Not much, but there's a little there. Uh, it's only plus two in Hancock, that's the thing. That might go up. There comes the coal. I hope my train gets it, the one that's reserved for coal. Yep, I just saw it add on. One, two, three, four coal cars. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the coal end of things. Now we need iron. And even once we do start getting coal and iron there, it takes a while for it to actually start working. Let's see. Yeah, there's 0.5 coal there. And you gotta worry about people taking coal out of Liberty somewhere else, but it's not worth anything anywhere else, so that's good. Sometimes that happens. Other trains will steal away the the um, the ingredients you need for an industry. But now we need to find iron. A better supply of iron than that one iron there in Scranton. Oh, that's why he's not getting the iron. That iron's going down the river way down to Danville to this tool and die. Yeah, when tool and die stop accepting iron, which won't be for a while, then it becomes a lot easier to get iron where you need it to go. Because right now, yeah, you can see it's automatically making its own way to tool and die factories, which sucks. And then the tool and die factories take them, and then you'll never get iron. And um, like right now, there's a lot of iron here. Is there a tool and die here? Yeah. What I could do is I'm going to connect from Patterson and Newark over to Morristown and put a station there and probably bulldoze that tool and die. There's enough tool and dies everywhere else. That way I'll get the iron and I'll cut it off at the pass, so to speak. And then the iron can go up and ship it up to Liberty. It's kind of, you know, a little wrong there, but but um, I'm just I'm just um, modernizing early with the steel mill. <laughs> so that's really the only place where we're going to find iron, I think. You know, there's there's one here that's making its way. It seems like all the iron on this map is making its own way. Wow, there's a lot up here. Maybe I could connect up to these directly. It never really works too good to connect to them directly. A lot of times, unfortunately, it's weird like that. Let's see. Iron, 3.8. See, does this iron want to go over there? Yep. Um, there's the right there. No, minus 24. You know, sometimes I just don't get it. Sometimes it wants to go places, and sometimes it just doesn't. Now this iron, from a different place, let's see, before it was minus 24, what's, what is it now? Not the same. Uh, it's weird like that. And why doesn't the iron, I guess because the iron doesn't want to go down the river and then back up the mountain? I don't know. But this iron, Alright, I think it's... Of course, Amboy has a lot of iron. Ten point... You know, I don't need to connect it. Where's town? There's a ton right there. Ten point three. But it doesn't want to go up, up there. <laughs> oh. It doesn't want to go anywhere, really. Except uh, Newburgh. Is there a lot in Newburgh? No, there's not a Newburgh. And it doesn't want to go anywhere from Newburgh. Uh, it's, it's sometimes I don't get it too much. It's a little too fancy, I like to say. Now let's go up to Morristown and then build another branch even further past Morristown up into the mountains and connect to those two iron veins directly. Instead of the whole 
bulldoze thing. Yeah, I'm going to connect to those directly and uh, do that. I'm going to try to connect from Patterson, I guess, to make it a shorter route. really would like my steel mill to work. I mean, steel mills have a potential to make a fortune. I'm talking like a million, million dollars a year just on that steel mill. But it's a real pain to get it going. It's, usually the iron never has a problem going there. And it's hard to get the coal there because there's just not much of it and coal's demanded by all the little towns and stuff. But this time the iron is the problem. I guess because it's so early, it's only 1860. You know, tool and dies are in full swing, huh? Boy, there's a tool and die right here. Alright, that's why we're connecting straight to the iron, I guess. Oh, there's a house. Hmm, put a big station, connect both of them, and I'll look on Google Maps and figure out what kind of town that's supposed to be just up from Morristown. <laughs> I get up there, that is. Uh, come on. Well, I think that's in the middle enough to connect them both. Well, let's connect to Morristown first, or else my little st my station up there will be called Morristown. Come on. I want to be able to use the same maintenance facility. Grr. Oh well, I'm going to have to double back if the new trains go that way. Alright, uh, water tower. And, let's see, big station. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Now watch, it's going to build a new house and it's going to be just outside the radius and I'm going to be pissed. What was that? Town Junction, huh? Hold on one second. Alright, I'm back and I just looked it up on Google Maps and I'm calling this Randolph, New Jersey. That seemed to be about... How is it spelled? P-H. I don't yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that seemed to be about the right spot though, right on top of this little mountain here. And then there's Mount something, but that was a little further up, I think. So, there. Well, maybe another house will build there now that I've got a station right there. Let's see. Iron, 2.9. Uh, Liberty, plus 5. Yay. It's not much, but it's a plus. Well, let's run a train. It's right from there. Yeah, it's got to be Baldwin's, I think. You know, some of it's flat, but some of it's mountain, so... Okay, Randolph to Liberty. And Caboose, apply, and then take off, apply, we're going custom. And one, two, three, four, and wait for at least three. And on the way back, call whatever you want. <laughs> In fact, we're going to add, um, after... Liberty, we're going to add Morristown. And then a Morristown. Zero. Well, I'm, as soon as we see what this is making, I think I'm about out of time. It's making zero. Well, isn't that nice? Negative 23. That's right, with this patch, it lets you haul stuff at negative profit. Why is it negative 3? It's plus 5. Right? This is, oh, that's Middletown. Negative 15. Maybe that'll go down. Well, it's going down. Only the first train will be bad like that, I think. Where is it? Yeah, with, with the 1.06 patch, it lets you do that. Haul it a negative. Alright, well, I think my time's about up, so I will see you next time.